Welcome to this Corporate Maths video on transformation matrices. In this video, we're going to look at the transformation matrix 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. And that is the transformation matrix which reflects a shape in the line y equals negative x or y equals minus x. So if we had this unit square, O, A, B, C, if we were to reflect it with the mirror line being y equals negative x or minus x, it'll reflect the unit square over here. So let's multiply each of these points by the transformation matrix and just check that this transformation matrix works. So, okay, so we'll start by taking the transformation matrix, which is 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. And we'll multiply the point at O, so the point 0, 0, the point at the origin, by that matrix. So multiplying the first row by the column will give 0 times 0 is 0, negative 1 times 0 is 0, adding them together is 0. And the second row by the column, well, negative 1 times 0 is 0, 0 times 0 is 0, adding them together again is 0. So the point O will stay where it is, so O dash will be there, just stay where it is. Next, it'll be invariant. Next, the point at A, so we take the matrix again, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0, and we're going to multiply the point at A by the transformation matrix, which is 1, 0. And when we do that, we get 0 times 1 is 0, negative 1 times 0 is 0, adding them together would be 0, and multiplying the second row by the column, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, 0 times 0 is 0, so that'll be negative 1. So the point A will be reflected in the line y equals negative x, and we'll get A dash, which is here, which is negative 1, 0. Next, the point at B, which is the point 1, 1. So whenever this is reflected, it should go to here, negative 1, negative 1. Let's have a look and see. So 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. And we're going to multiply by the point B, which is the point 1, 1. When we do that, we get 0 times 1, which is 0, negative 1 times 1, which is negative 1, add them together as negative 1, and then the second row by the column, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, 0 times 1 is 0, add them together will be negative 1. So that would mean that the point B dash will be the point negative 1, negative 1. So it will be there, minus 1, minus 1, there. And finally, the point at C, which is the point 0, 1. So again, let's take our matrix, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. And we're going to multiply it by the point which is at C. So that's the point 0, 1. And let's see what we get. So multiplying the first row by the column. So 0 times 0 is 0. Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. And then the second row by the column. Minus 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. Add them together is 0. So that will be the point minus 1, 0. So it will be here. And as you can see, that's where it would be if it was reflecting the line y equals negative x. And that's it. So joining up our square would look something like that. And that's it.